let's make a deal. Bitch, be for real. Is you off a pill? Okay, let's make a deal. Rumple still skin. She wanna see my purple pickle up in the wind. Okay, Sean cut us off, bitch. Get in. And if your nigga don't like me, hit any chin chin. Bitch, I'm hotter than a pepper, no mint. Big stepper, no still. Hey man, what's going on YouTube? It's your boy Clark Paolo, aka Black Cat Pete. Whatever you guys want to call me, I'm back with another back of YouTube video. If you guys can't read, go back to school. But if you guys can read, you'll see the title of today's video. Today, I'm by myself, and I'm doing something a little bit different. Now, I do want to point something out, you guys. I am, like, testing the waters with my uh, my new videos, you know what I'm saying? As you guys can see, I'm kind of all over the place with the videos I'm dropping. I'm dropping uh, challenges. I'm dropping reaction videos. You know what I'm saying? Because I've never been the type of person. Also, shout out Mama Oso. Um, I've never been the type of person that just, like, when I did my YouTube, I wanted you guys to enjoy my personality more than you enjoyed my content necessarily. Because I want you guys to be able to watch anything like I want to be able to make a video on fucking chopsticks And you guys go watch it because you guys fuck with my vibe instead of just the video at hand So that's why I'm so open to doing different videos um, But right now I am telling you guys I do want to get way more into fashion as you guys can see my recent Instagram picture right here Or wherever Julio pops it up. I might be in the middle uh, I did post a new Instagram picture and you guys can see that my my the way I'm dressing is about to start changing slowly You know what I'm saying I'm just starting off getting into the more streetwear and aesthetic fashion you know what I'm saying it's just something that I've always wanted to do but I never really had the expense for it I mean the, the money for it so with uh, a lot of help from you guys, I'm able to start doing that. So I just want to give a huge shout out to you guys. Again, I, I really appreciate y'all for making this shit come true. By the way, I was also talking on YouTube today with the support team. I'm about to get my plaque, so that shit's on the way. And uh, yeah, let's get into today's video. All right, you guys, so today, as you guys saw in the title, I am doing a hoodie collection video now. What I want to point out first off is if we can get a thousand likes on this video, that's easy. We I, we done done that a thousand times, you know what I'm saying? If we get a thousand likes on this video, I will drop a jean collection video. So I am doing a hoodie collection. And now, mind you, a lot of the pairs of jeans I have on Instagram, a lot of you guys are asking for. So those are the jeans that are going to be in hand. And when I do those videos, I'm going to tell you guys where I got them. I'm literally leaking my drip. If you guys want anything to dress, like dress any way like me or get any pieces of clothing examples from me, I'm dropping all the websites I got them from and everything instagrams everything so if you guys want that gene collection comment down below a fire emoji and also make sure you guys like the video and turn on post notice let's get into today's video follow me on instagram and also make sure to follow my editor julio and no this is not a virus you dumb bitch all right y'all so the first jacket I'm gonna be popping out with is a zip up jacket, and it's uh, it's, <laughs> well, this is just the one like flag jacket of my my my, you know what I'm saying, my little collection. I did run down on jackets because I was going into uh, summer. I was like, bro, I'm gonna just get rid of hell of them, so I got rid of hell of them. Um, I have a few more in the closet that I might break out later, but uh, right now I'm going through all my hoodies and then I'll go through my zip ups. So the first one I'm gonna just show you guys real quick is uh, the EGK one that I got from my grandma. Shout out grandma for buying me this. I haven't worn it. She got me it last Christmas. Just haven't had the time to wear it. You know what I'm saying? Just website grandma.com you know what i'm saying but anyway i am gonna be uh putting this one in the video i don't know if the the challenge for this came out but if the i think it should have by it by now uh this is the jacket i got the tom and jerry jacket i got for my five dollar outfit challenge i mean my five minute outfit challenge featuring my little brother and my editor julio you guys can see the drip right here also rest in peace to the guy who created it um i just found out julio if you could put a little thing um, for him, I just found out that the creator and the, the writer for Tom and Jerry just passed away. So rest in peace to him. Con my condolences and prayers go out to his family. But yeah, I got this really drippy Tom and Jerry hoodie. I uh, Hopefully Julio puts the picture on, on screen of me wearing it uh, and, and so in the back because this shit is raw as fuck. So I definitely can't wait for winter so I can pop out in this. Uh, I'm going to make some nice stuff with this. So without any further ado, let's get into the next hoodie. All right, y'all. So the next hoodie I got is this brown Gap hoodie. Now, there's one thing that I want to point out about this. I can't lie. I did get this drip from my homie Dom. Um, I'll put Dom's Instagram up here. I'll give it to, to Julio. Shout out to Dom. I seen a picture of him wearing this, and I was like, bro, well, I had already been wanting to cop something brown. Like, I've been wanting to get into, like, the brown, you know, like, darker shades. And I was like, I need a brown hoodie. Um, and and I wanted, like, a, a, I wanted a lighter one, but I, this ended up being better. And I saw it, and I was like, bro, I have to cop it. I got this for $20 at Gap.com. Oh, I got that one from TJ Maxx for $16, um, by the way. So tjmax.com probably has it. You could probably just look up T uh, Tom and Jerry hoodie and find it. But anyway, this one is really nice because it has a navy uh, Gap logo, which is dope because instead of wearing my black hat with it, which doesn't go, um, I'm about to buy this blue New York Yankee hat um, that Mari has. Mari has a nice blue one that goes with this. So this would be nice with some black jeans, black skinny jeans, you know what I'm saying, or black uh, stack jeans. And then the, the dark blue, navy blue hat and then some white coke white air forces so there's the gap hoodie that i got again for 19.99 on gap.com and uh yeah let's get a nice hoodie 
All right, you guys, so the next hoodie I got is this nice little purple world hoodie. Uh, it says, imagine a world without, and it's, it's, it's dope as hell because if you guys can see, oh, I'm raising it too high. If you guys can see it, it it's like a uh, ombre, so it goes through, and it goes from like a light, I would say like a lavender into a dark purple, or not even a dark purple, kind of it goes from like a light blue into a, uh, a lavender. Um, and then on the back, it has all this wording right here. I saw it again at TJ Maxx. I bought it the same day I got the other one. This one I think goes for same price, $16.99. Um, but yeah, this is a nice ass hoodie. I can't wait to pop out with this one. I'm gonna make a drippy ass outfit with this. Probably get some custom purple Air Force Ones, like white Air Forces with some purple on them. Um, and then some black jeans and a little chain on the side or something like that, you know what I'm saying? A chain on my, my, my hip or something like that. So this is a really dope ass hoodie. I really, really like this hoodie. Let me know also what you guys rate these hoodies uh, by comment down below. Like, hey, I really like that purple hoodie from TJ Maxx or that brown one from Gap. And uh, yeah, there's that hoodie. This is a size large because I am starting to get into more baggy clothing as well. So yeah, there's that. Let's get in the next hoodie. All right, you guys. So the next hoodie, I actually have no idea where I got it from. Like, online because I ended up, oh, well it says Forever 21, but I got it from my homie Azir. Uh, he ended up letting me have it and I came up on it. So it's just this little Forever 21. I don't even know what the brand is. It's John Michael Basquat. I don't even know, this says John Michael Basquat. I wanted this to be my merch idea and then I found this and I was like, what the fuck, I'm hella mad. But this is a dope ass uh, yellow hoodie. I don't know, that is so what brought me. And I like when stuff is on the arms. I think that's hella dope. But yeah, it's just a simple little little drip you know what i'm saying yellow is something that a lot of people don't like to wear because it's too bold but i really like yellow on my skin and uh also forever 21 is a dope ass place to get clothes from so if you guys ever want to find a new place to check out when you guys are shopping try and find a forever 21 in your location because forever 21 is really good but without any further ado let's get the next hoodie yeah all right y'all so the next hoodie i have is a zip up uh and i'm not even a fan of this team this is just a hoodie that i ended up getting off my mom because we found that at goodwill brand new for like seven dollars with the tag on it for eighty dollars from the, uh, the nba store uh, like the, the NBA.com store. So it's just a little zip up Golden Golden State Warriors hat. I'll probably end up giving this away to like, um, I wanna go do a clothing giveaway to like a homeless person, but I wanna give them nice clothes for my collection, not just my hand-me-downs. So this is the type of stuff I would give them. I literally put this on one time and that was my freshman year. I'm a senior now. So I, I don't wear this and it's a really high quality hoodie. So hopefully I can give this away to someone. And uh, yeah, it's, it's a nice little zip up. It's just not my fashion, you know what I'm saying? It's not my, it's not my, my, uh, my taste so i definitely could see someone making a nice outfit with it but just not me you feel me but yeah this one nba.com or even goodwill um goodwill is a really good place to go you guys a lot of people be trying to sleep on that you guys drip does not come from expense now while things can be expensive like my nice ass balenciagas you see what i'm saying they're they're a thousand dollar shoes or eight hundred dollar shoes this is drip because they're nice shoes not because they're eight hundred dollars you feel me like for example i'll give you guys a sneak peek my Puma RSXs, Julio just got a pair of uh, RSXs. These were $40 for me, $45 for me. These are drip and these are not expensive shoes. These are $45, this is lunch money, sh a pair of shoes, you know what I'm saying? So don't think that you guys have to be paying a lot to get drip. Also, an easy place to get drip from is uh, creatorgiant.com slash Clark Paolo. Go get my merch, real drip. And uh, yeah, that's what I wanted to point out, you guys, is drip does not come from being expensive. It comes from just being the person. Drip is drip is in the way that you walk. If you guys saw my recent, but that's drip, because it's just me, you feel me? It's not It's not about matching colors, it's not about anything. It just, it, it, a drip is a lifestyle, you feel me? It's not just a, hey, match this and blah, 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 and, and get expensive this and expensive that. Because I've seen some rich people with all Gucci outfits and it looks disgusting, you feel me? So yeah, without any further ado, let's get the next hoodie. All right, y'all, so the next hoodie I have is this iVision hoodie. This hoodie is dope as hell, but I have not worn it enough, but I'm going to. Just let your boy lose a few more pounds so I can look good in it. It's It fits on me, but I want to be skinnier, you feel me, you guys? I'm 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 getting ripped, you feel me, you know what I'm saying? Your boy been losing weight. I, I'm not going to lie. Since last June, I've lost like 40 pounds, so I'm going crazy right now. I'm on the road to like 150. Right now, I'm at like 170, so I was two-something before, you feel me, so applaud your boy in the comments because i am going crazy with that shit but anyway this is from a company in sacramento called iVision. i think he's selling these for like 20 something dollars i'm not sure don't quote me on that but this is a dope ass little velvet hoodie at the time i really 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 wanted a velvet hoodie so this was dope when he plugged me this shout out to him i think his name uh i haven't talked to him in a minute i, I believe his name's diego so shout out to diego if not then i just fucking said your name for no reason that's not your name but yeah this is a dope ass hoodie the only problem i have with this hoodie is the hood's hella small like if i tried putting the hood on maybe it's because i have a big ass head but it just doesn't work but this is a nice as uh, route to go. Also, make sure you guys are trying to shop local. You feel me? Right now, especially during this pandemic, if you guys are trying to get drip, 
please buy local. These big, these big brand storms, like even like Gap, you know what I'm saying? That's the type of stuff that I should have probably went to someone else. That's a little bit different though. But if you guys are looking for like something like this, make sure you guys are going to your local people because those people need it the most right now during this pandemic. They don't have a big marketing team behind them pushing out their products and big warehouses. These are local people, you know what I'm saying? So just make sure you guys are going out there, reaching out for them. Influencers, also, if you guys are watching this video, make sure you guys are doing those promotions legit and really pushing those people's product because bro, this is, it's all about love right now, you feel me? We all we all need the, the, the help we can get. But uh, without any further ado, let's get into the next jacket. All right, you guys, so this jacket is probably one of my favorite hoodies I have. Julio's gonna put a picture up here when I show it. Um, it's my Boston Celtics jersey. Uh, I mean hoodie and I got this from my co-worker when I used to work at a trampoline park and I never gave it back to her I wore it home because it was raining and she was like just bring it into another day Her name was Jasmine. She was hella cool, but I'm never giving this shit back because I fucking love it And uh, this is drip. She had just got it too. So shout out Jasmine. I'm sorry But this shit is raw as fuck I love this hoodie and I'm gonna definitely buy more NBA hoodies because the way they feel the material I think it might just be the Nike, but I'm not sure but this shit is dope like oh, it's not even Nike It's unk I don't know about, but this is a really nice material. This hoodie will cost you around, I think $80 brand new, but this material is definitely worth it. If you guys are trying to make merch or anything like that and get into clothing, use this material. Try and find out what material this is because this is a really high end, high quality material and you could probably get it for cheaper than what they sell it for. But yeah, there's my Boston Celtics uh, hoodie and uh, let's get in the next hoodie. All right, you guys, so the next one I have is actually a Japanese hoodie. Um, I think it's a Japanese hoodie or it's Chinese as well. It's an Asian hoodie um, and my cousin got it it's from Riot Society, um, but yeah, it has this little like, like samurai woman on the on the front. I think it's a woman. Yeah, it's a woman. I, I believe it is. Um, a little samurai woman on the front, and then the same one on the back. And this is a dope ass hoodie. I'm not gonna lie to you guys. This is a dope ass hoodie because you already know how many outfits I can make with this. Like. There's so many outfits. I can't wait for winter. And I want you guys also to do something right now during the hot ass fall and summer is the best time to get hoodies because. Uh, or during summer specifically because no one is buying them you feel me mostly most people don't think about buying hoodies during summer um fuck so make sure you guys are buying those during summer because they are going to be way cheaper normally than um than during winter when everyone wants them but yeah stay on lookout again for like stuff like this this asian street wears dope asian 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 style clothing is so raw to me not asian style but the use of asian um like historical background figures and stuff like that and historical uh, not historical um just Asian, like, what am I trying to, I'm not trying to be, I'm not trying to sound stupid. Like, because Asian streetwear is one thing, but when they use Asian, you feel me. Anything Asian is cool, okay? That's all I'm trying to say. Fuck, like, damn, like, get off my back. <laughs> all right, let's get to the next hoodie. All right, you guys, so the next hoodie, again, I have a picture up here of it. My peanut butter and jelly time, you know what I'm saying? My peanut butter and jelly, my, my baby. I was with my best friend when I bought this from TJ Maxx for $16, mind you, a Kappa hoodie for $16. This hoodie is raw. Now, I do want to point something out. If you guys are a size medium in hoodies or in shirts and you're pushing like towards large, get a large. Like if you're if you're not a, like this is a small on me, right? This shirt is small on me. I wouldn't buy a, a small shirt again, like because this is tight on me, you feel me? Like it doesn't, it doesn't feel comfortable. It's a tight fit. So I'd get a medium. So with you guys, if you guys are pushing towards medium, get a large because this is a medium and this fits well on me, but I've seen it on people who are mediums, who are closer to larges and it doesn't fit so i would make sure you go with large because i have a large one over here and i'll show you guys the difference but yeah this is a dope ass hoodie again from tj maxx but you could get this kappa hoodie also from um kappa.com and i think they're 80 dollars or 60 dollars the thing about kappa is it's like champion so be careful with it when you're buying stuff like this i just personally would recommend not buying shirts that have like the print all over the place i have that red champion shirt i used to wear with hella champion logo so when you go kappa just make sure you're not doing too much and you're getting unique stuff like this that not everyone's gonna have because eventually it's gonna get basic but uh yeah kappa hoodie right there let's get the next hoodie all right you guys so my second to last hoodie is my blue my blueberry my baby baby you know what i'm saying my kappa hoodie right here that i got this is something that i was talking about earlier when it came to like the uh, the simplicity of hoodies this is probably like inching towards like eventually going to be played out because it's such a simple colorway like i've seen so many people wear this color with um those those uh win like 82 11s not this hoodie but this type of color so i already know when this gets found out people are gonna dick ride it that hoodie is not something people don't wear purple and orange so that's the type of stuff where you, you can keep for um like a real drippy outfit this one is kind of just more like a chill vibe you know what i'm saying you crack on some gray pants and then some air forces you can't really go wrong so yeah that's a um that's the that's the second last hoodie and let's get into the last hoodie y'all all right y'all so the last hoodie i have right here is this pink playboy hoodie this is a dope ass hoodie it's a really baggy one and i like it my best friend got it for me shout out to her with the little playboy bunny but the thing is that i like is on the back it has the playboy with some girls next to a car you can never go wrong with that 
And uh, this is a nice ass hoodie. The only thing is this is dumbass thick and I get hot very bad. I don't know if you guys know this, but I have profuse sweats, profuse sweat syndrome, which means I get hot really fast and I sweat a lot. So wearing something like this in summer is just, it's not gonna happen with me. But winter, I definitely could pop out with something like this, some skinny jeans, and again, some Air Forces, or some custom Air Forces that I am getting made right now for this. So uh, shout out to brothers for making me those, and uh, yeah, let's wrap up this video. <sighs> All right, y'all, if you guys did enjoy today's video, make sure you do give it a thumbs up. Let's get to 1,000 likes today. Also, if you guys do want a sneaker collection, because I'm not showing all my sneakers, but if you guys do want an updated sneaker collection, let me know by comment down below. We want a sneaker collection. If you guys want the jean collection, also comment down below. We want a jean collection. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video, and I hope you guys did enjoy. Also, comment down below other video ideas you guys want me to do. By now, I think I should have posted the reaction video. I did a reaction video. If you guys want to see more of that, let me know. And, uh, yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed. Again, follow me on Instagram, and uh, that was good. Right now on the come up, lately been talking my shit because I know I come from the gutter since Sasha's your brother. Then I go pop out in all of this linen like I was a baller. How can you hate me? I'm coming from under. Lower to sleep, what the fuck is a cover? Now I pop out in ballistics, they run us, man. Tell us I'm tweaking, I already fucked her. I was down bad, I know.